that was Andantino, number seven from Giuliani's Opus 50. And follow this lesson for free and just pick up some tips and ideas. But if you're interested, I do have an edition of all 32 pieces of Giuliani's Opus 50. And there's a link for that in the description. So uh, the pieces are kind of progressively getting a, a little bit more difficult. But, you know, the majority of these pieces kind of are around the grade four to five level. Um, this piece is... is is not difficult, it doesn't utilize a lot of areas of the guitar, but it is starting to get a little bit thicker, and there's some voice exchanges in this piece. So you probably first want to kind of just um, break this piece into some sections and practice the different textures on their own in order to kind of get a better understanding of what's happening in the piece and what's going to be required from a technical standpoint. So at the very beginning, and, and pretty much all the way up to bar eight, uh, we have a little bit of voice exchange, right? So upper voice, then lower voice, upper voice, lower voice. So you could practice the voices separately. Um, but it does work nicely when, when the two voices are interacting. There's less kind of dead space, but for the most part, there's just exchanging off and then they come together. So exchange, and then come together here. And then it begins again. Um, and then at, at bar eight, you have uh, more of a traditional texture of an Alberti bass. So like thumb I, thumb I, thumb I, thumb I, and then the melody gets played by the other fingers. So that. So you, you could definitely practice the melody on its own there, but also the accompaniment on its own, just kind of making sure you um, are comfortable with that Alberti bass pattern, which is a very traditional classical era pattern. And, and then, you know, there's some other um, exchanges that happen, but I, I think the next um, real texture change would be, you know, down around bar 19, where you, you just, you end up playing more arpeggios. It's still melodic, but it just feels different. And then you have a lot of similar material. So you want to practice those different textures there until those three things are, are nice and clear and comfortable. And then um, make sure you're bringing out the melody nice and clearly, and then you're, you're pretty much good to go. But let's just do a quick walkthrough of the piece. Keeping my thumb for all the lower voice, and then exchanging IMA for the upper. Just make sure your hand is swung around for that so your fourth finger can reach that no problem. If your hand is even slightly misaligned, you can see what happens, you can't reach it. Same thing here, you have to be really aligned to get these notes. So some students are, will have a trouble trouble holding a fourth finger bass note and then playing with the third finger here. But again, if I'm even slightly, you can see just a few millimeters and my fourth finger can't reach that note anymore. So make sure your, your knuckle is swung around, your hand is aligned with the strings, and, and then just proceed calmly. As always, this can be pretty soft and the melody should come out nice and prominently. You can lay on that A sharp, resolve. So here, it might be tempting to use your fingers on the bass line, but I, I like to keep it in the thumb just to keep the voicing very clear. There we go. 
same thing there, just have that hand swung around. There, do thumb M or whatever, and then I am for that scale passage. Kind of a repeat. I do like to keep the thumb on the G, G, D, D, G. One last thing I'll mention is measures 25 to 31 seems to be a number of misprints in there. Um, so I've rewritten it to match like measure six from the beginning because it's, it's a very similar section. So I, I've reconstructed it like that. Um, I'm, I'm very confident that that's the correct choice but you can look at the original if you want to see like the original having, in measure 30, having C sharp, E, C natural, but I, I would make that change for sure. So I hope you enjoy that piece. It, it's full of the classical air textures that um, were prominent at the time, and it, it comes out really nicely on the guitar as being quite full, but also having you know a clear, prominent melody.